Hello, welcome to Michelle Sews Again. I'm Michelle. Today is Saturday. <laughs> so it's another hashtag Friday Sews because I'm perpetually late these days. Um, if you wanna see what I've sewn, what I have on my table and a little bit about life, then please stay tuned. Okay, so I've only sewn one thing over the last couple of weeks. So you may recall in the last Friday Sews that I posted, which was a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that my husband was gonna be coming home for a week. And he did, and we had the best time. He came home on a Sunday evening and was here through this past Tuesday. He was supposed to fly out on Monday, but his flight got canceled, not due to weather. So I can only assume that the flight wasn't sold, didn't have enough, um, occupancy and they canceled it. So um, he flew home Tuesday or flew back to Philly. This is home. <laughs> I do tease him every time he comes home. I give him I'm like, so here's an apartment tour <laughs> because he's never here. Anyway, so I didn't get anything done that weekend, uh, the, the two weekends um, on either side of the week. Um, I guess that's not true. I did this on the weekend. Um, so I've got a new pattern. Um, I've been seeing it on Instagram and I just thought it was so adorable. And it is the Collage Gathered Top by Matchy Matchy Sewing Club. And I'll put the line drawings here. I'll put somewhere, I'll put the model photograph um, where you can see it's super cute. It's a really great way to use up scrap fabrics because you can mix and match. You don't have to have it like all coordinated or anything, or you can do it all in one. I've seen a gorgeous one that was just all done in white eyelet, which I thought was beautiful. Now I would probably dye the eyelet because I don't do white, but it was really pretty. Um, so what I did was I wasn't sure about how the style lines would hit me. I knew they would hit me right like in the middle of my bust. And because they're on the side, if, if they were across the front, I know for a fact I would have had to lower it because I can't make it higher because then it just like goes out too far. And so I, and if it hits like right in the middle, that's just not good. So, um, but because these were hitting on the side and they kind of have like side peplums, if that's a good way to describe it, I wasn't sure how that would look. Um, so I wanted to do a muslin version, but I wanted to make it a wearable muslin because I was using some thrifted sheets and the way that I put the thrifted sheets together, I thought was super cute. So I was like, you know what, if this comes out, then I'm going to want to be able to wear it. So, um, unfortunately it's not flattering. It's way too short and it's because I really need to lengthen the front pieces so that they account for my larger bust. There is no, but um, I have no clue how I would do an FBA on this because of the piecing. So here's the shirt and I will put it on and show you. It actually fits from a width perspective. It's just way too short. So I will probably put, I don't know if I'll put like something across the bottom, another maybe ruffle, um, or if I'll just wear it with like a long tank top, I don't know yet, but I do want to wear this because I think that the way I pieced these sheets together came out so cute. So I've got this like floral sheet in the middle. Nice pastel, springy, summery colors. I've just got this solid blue for the sleeves. And then I've got this um, pink and white, it's a really fine pink and white pinstripe um, for the peplums. And I didn't do any like crazy mix and match. I did the same pieces on both in the same places on both sides. Um, I don't know that I would always do that. I could easily take an opportunity to really go crazy with the mix and matching. Um, and then I also did the pink pinstripe on the sleeve cuff. So, um, and I also did the uh, bias binding for the neck in the pink pinstripe. I really think that this is an adorable top. Like I said, it just came out too short for me in the front because of my bust filling it out further than it was designed for. Um, 
even though that's, I guess that's the one thing. Um, I made the size that was recommended for my bust measurement. So I would think that that would be accounted for. I don't know how that works. I don't know how to design a pattern or draft a pattern. So um, I'm not judging. I just know that it's not working for my bust measurement, but I do love the top. So um, it was super easy to put together. Um, I definitely recommend the pattern. Um, I'll have a link to it in the description box if you're interested. And like I said, these are all sheets that I thrifted. I'm pretty sure I, sh I thrifted all of these on a trip that I did with Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room. I think we did it back in January or February maybe. Um, and yeah, it was definitely January because it was before our first collaboration. So anyway, I am definitely going to make another one of these and I just need to modify the pattern pieces in the front. And I guess that's where uh, I need to figure out what I'm doing because I can't just modify this piece. I've got to modify this piece as well, but the back seemed to be long enough. So I don't know. I got to work that part out. Um, so that's that. Um, let me know if you've made that top and how you liked it and did it come out good for you. All right, so what's next on my, cause that's all I've sewn. So what's next on my table? So I have another collab coming up with Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room. We both agreed that neither one of us was super thrilled with how our personal garments came out in our first collaboration, which was back in January. And I will link that in the cards up here. We used a Pinterest image as our inspiration, and then we each took, we each did our own take on it. So I used an indie pattern, Jen used a big four pattern, and um, I personally, I, I love the colors that I put together, but the way that I put them together, or the way they came together in this garment just looked a little clownish. Um, I used a turquoise and a red, I used turquoise and red thrifted sheets. And I used the Paddington top, the free pattern from Peppermint Magazine. And I used the Poppy pants from Sinclair Patterns, which is one of my favorite pant patterns. Um, first of all, it was oversized. Like both garments were too big for me. Um, so I, I do need to take them up. I do like each of the garments individually. So I would wear the top um, once I fix the sizing and I would wear the bottoms once I fixed the sizing separately, but I won't wear them together. It's just a little too clownish. Um, so we both felt like we wanted a do over and Jen suggested it and I was like, yes, let's do it. So we're doing a collaboration and um, I'll just show you my fabrics. I'm not gonna tell you what pattern we're doing, um, but it is a mixed print collaboration. Um, so, I am doing these three animal prints together. And I they're all the same exact print, they're just in different colorways. And they're from my favorite pattern or fabric designer. Her name is Melissa and her company name is The Artworks. I'll put that on the screen here. And I bought these off Spoonflower and this is a gauze a double gauze fabric actually they call it their sweet pea gauze it feels like it's double gauze though um just from the weight of it um and i've already washed it so it's not super soft um but i did make a swim cover-up last year with their sweet pea gauze and after washing that a couple of times it's actually really soft so i'm hopeful that this will become softer like a true double gauze is but um yeah so that's the fabric that i'm using um for the collaboration and i've got the whole thing cut out so i'm ready to go and i'm excited to have that sewn up um that's all i have on my short term to-do list I have another collaboration coming up in August with Marty from the Sewing Nerd Confession um, YouTube account. And I met Marty at the Sewing Expo in March up in the Lakeland, Lakeland, Florida area. It's outside of Orlando. 
and we hit it off. She also lives in Florida and she's got a really fun YouTube channel. If you're not already watching, go and check her out. I'll put a link in the description box, but she does a lot of upcycling. <clears throat> Excuse me. She does a lot of upcycling. Um, and she's also an artist. Um, so what, when she saw my thrift haul and saw this book on fabric painting, she was like, can we do a collaboration on painting some fabric? And I was like, yeah, I'm in for that. So, um, we haven't talked too much more about it other than that. So I don't know any other details. So we need to kind of, uh, flesh that out. Marty, I'll be in touch. <laughs> um, but I have, um, gotten a few new tools. Um, I've watched a few more videos on how to thicken up my dye so that I can actually use it for painting and it's not too liquidy. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Now I'm not an artist. <laughs> I have dabbled in some painting and things like that, but I'm really not that good. So doing some kind of freehand thing is probably not what's going to happen unless I decide to do something abstract, which is possible because I do like abstract. So, um, yeah, so that's coming up soon. Um, I also recently filmed a tutorial video on an ice dye kit that was gifted to me from the, from the manufacturer. And I've done that video. It is ready to go. I have it, um, scheduled for Wednesday morning at seven. I'm just waiting to hear back from the company, whether, you know, they're okay with it or not. I gave my honest opinion. They said they wanted my honest opinion. Um, so we'll see. Um, but right now it is, po it's ready to go, um, for you to see on Wednesday. I also recently got some gifted fabric that I'm going to be doing a review on pretty soon. Um, I got several pieces of fabric and I got different fabric fabrications so that I could review the different qualities and that will be coming up soon. Um, I think that's about it from a sewing perspective. Um, I have somebody that I would like for you to meet. So hold on one second. So I'd like to introduce you to Hercules, my newest member of my family. <laughs> he is a mini poodle and he's eight weeks old and he just came home yesterday and we're loving getting to know each other. Um, we've had a lot of fun playing together and he actually slept through the night yesterday, last night, um, from like 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, so without any accidents. Um, so I am crate training him or attempting to. Um, he's not very food motivated, at least from what I've tried so far. So I might have to get some other kinds of food treats. I've got blue buffalo treats right now that don't seem to interest him at all. And he's not really interested in his like regular food either that he's been eating since birth. Well, I guess since he weaned off his mother, but um, the food that they sent me home with, um, I have to be standing right next to him for him to eat. So I'm worried that he's not eating enough. But anyway, uh, we'll figure it out. He's very happy. He's very active. He's gonna get me moving around a lot more, which I'm super excited about. And he's just a little cuddle bug. <laughs> anyway, this is Hercules. <laughs> and he's so cute. Look at that face. <laughs> That's what I have going on in life right now. So I just realized that I didn't actually film an outro. <laughs> so jumping in here, editing Michelle, jumping in to say wherever you are, I hope the weather's amazing. It's crap right now in uh, South Florida and I hope you're able to get some sewing in. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Thank you.